welcome to a new video and I hope you guys are all doing well. I am currently at Charles de Gaulle Airport and I'm heading back to LA but I had a layover in Paris for 18 hours so I stayed in Paris for one night and this morning I just checked in for my flight to LA and I got here a little bit extra early so I still have an hour before my flight and I figured I might as well do a little bit of shopping since behind me, right after you get through security, they have all the stores. There's a Chanel, a Dior, an Hermes, and let's see if we can find anything. rose gold python and I have this bag in gold already and this is a black python with embroidery and she told me this is also a python skin and so is this gray one they have so much python here I just left Dior and I found an amazing bag that I love it's actually none of the ones that I showed you guys in the video so it's gonna be a little surprise and I'll do an unboxing when I get back to LA but while they are wrapping the bag I'm going to go to Chanel and see if I can find anything there airport shopping and I found something at Chanel also that I will show you when I get to LA but now I'm trying to run to my gate because it's 9 15 and my flight boards at 9 20 I also need to put all these things that I just got into my luggage because I don't think they'll let me take all these bags onto the plane with me apparently I walked past the gate because I reached the end of the terminal and it only went to like number 30 or 31 and I'm 27 and the guy was like oh yeah you have to go downstairs so now I'm rushing back but I think it should be all good he says it's very close here in LA and I landed a few hours ago I also got a, um, a zit on my chin so in case you're wondering what that thing is on my chin I think it formed during the flight and um, the flight was very nice and smooth and quick and easy and it was also very very empty which makes sense because I guess not many people would be coming to the United States because of the coronavirus situation here. It was only me and one other person in business class, so the stewardess told us before takeoff that we could spread out or sit wherever we wanted to, and I ended up taking three seats. So I had one seat where I was eating, a second seat where I was doing work on my computer and editing vlogs and things like that, and a third seat for sleeping. So it was very nice and spacious and we also landed a little bit early which is always nice and now as I promised I will show you guys what I got at the airport in Paris. The Paris airport is the best for shopping. I mean me and my mom a few years ago the first time we came to Paris we found out that like oh my gosh the airport shopping in Paris is amazing because we had extra time. I remember our flight was delayed which wasn't a problem. I mean usually when a flight is delayed it's like the worst thing but if you're at the Paris International Airport it's not a big deal because it just means extra time to shop and eat and do all that kind of stuff and the airport was really busy like everything was open the shops and the restaurants whereas the LAX when I flew out it was so empty there was only like two restaurants that were open and one of those little convenience stores that sell snacks and drinks and everything else was closed and it was very deserted so I had some time to shop in Paris because I was early for my flight and I found a few things so I'll show you guys what I got from Chanel and Dior let's start with Chanel 
from Chanel, I ended up getting this little hat. And I'm not a hat person at all. I rarely wear hats. I do sometimes wear those big sun hats. Like I have the straw huge hat from Jacquemus, like the really, really big wide one. And then I also have a few other hats from Jacquemus, but I don't have any baseball caps. And I saw this at the Chanel store right when I walked in and I thought it was so cute because I love this tweed pattern on it. It's kind of like an ivory black and silver interwoven tweed and it has their big CC logo on the front in leather. And the back has this Velcro thing so you can adjust the size. But I just thought it was like a nice cute hat and you can easily style it with just like jeans and a t-shirt and throw this on and you're all good to go. From Dior, I got something a little bit more exciting. And this bag I saw as soon as I walked into the store, it was like out on display and I just immediately fell in love with it. The salesperson, when she saw that I was interested in this one, she brought out like a bunch of other Lady Dior's and I'm honestly not a huge fan when salespeople do that. If you guys have seen my Dior handbag collection, video you'll know I have quite a few Lady Dior's so for me to buy another one it has to be like a really special and unique one and that was what I came across at the airport I'm just so obsessed with this gold stripe down the middle it's like a gold and silver foil and it kind of has like a nice shine and it's also on the two sides here and I love the brown, the gray, and the beige colors. I think it complements so many different outfits. And it's also python, so in California, you can't actually buy python. All my python bags I got while I was in Paris or when I was in Italy or New York. This one has to be my new favorite exotic skin Lady Dior because I also have a gold python one and also a like a tealish crocodile one it obviously can't really compare to the embellished or crystal ones but out of all the exotics this one is for sure my new favorite just because of the color combo and everything and that is it for this little airport haul i didn't have much time to shop i really wanted to also go to louis vuitton and there was an Hermes, but I only shop Hermes in San Francisco with my salesperson, so I wouldn't have gone anyways. Now I need to go run to Whole Foods to buy some water and other things, and hopefully I will make it to Era One later today as well. But the Whole Foods is literally a five minute walk from the hotel, so I'm gonna stop by there first. I just got back from Whole Foods and Irawan and there was a pretty big line outside Whole Foods but like a very very long line outside Irawan but of course I waited because Irawan is like my favorite place in the whole world and I think it gets especially busy there in the evenings because everyone likes to go there for dinner since they have like a really nice hot food bar everything there is like organic or vegan and super healthy and delicious I mean I love to get dinner at Era One or lunch. I mean, I love to go there any time of the day, snack, lunch, dinner, everything, because they just have so many cool, healthy things that you can't really find anywhere else. I'm gonna show you guys quickly what I got, but I didn't really find any new snacks because I didn't really feel like looking around so much. I just got my usual things. I kind of wanted to come back and take a shower and go to sleep because I'm a little bit tired because I just landed today and uh, i'll show you guys quickly what i got and oh my god you can really see my zit now it's kind of big and gross like i was saying it's kind of the same as last time i got the edamame this good chocolate some paper plates and this is the new chocolate that i found it's from this brand called phi kind and it's golden milk truffles it sounds kind of interesting it's sugar-free keto paleo vegan and raw so we'll give this a try I got my usual walnuts and these moon juice crackers, the crisps and the rainbow and sea crisps. And this is the gum that I like. It's called Xyli Chew. It's like a healthier version of gum, I think. I'm not really sure, but the ingredients are supposed to be better than like normal gum. So that's basically it and everything else is in that bag. I just grabbed like one of everything to show you guys. Oh, I also got a bunch of Fiji water. I was about to go hop in the shower, but I really wanted to try these chocolates. So I was eating some of them and I wanted to show you guys because they're quite interesting. It's like yellow inside because of the golden milk and they don't taste bad, but they're definitely different. So I'll show you what it looks like. It's like this cute little 
dome thing and inside it looks like this you can see definitely has an interesting flavor it tastes like a mm, it has like a little bit of a it has a little bit of like a turmeric and ginger taste so it's a little bit salty it's kind of weird but it's not bad like I just ate the whole box for dessert and then I was also eating this other chocolate I finished these two because I just like love chocolate especially at night well, I ended up eating two more of these after I finished this because they had kind of an interesting aftertaste and I just needed to like clear my palate with some more normal chocolate. So I had two more, but I am done for tonight. I'm very chocolated out now and finally <laughs> I have satisfied my chocolate cravings and um, it's definitely time to shower and stop eating. It's 10.40. Good morning guys. I just woke up and I slept pretty late last night around 2, 2.30ish because of jet lag. But in general, I don't really get jet lag so starting today I should be fine and back to my normal LA schedule. And right now it is 12.17 and today is September 3rd so it's actually good afternoon. This morning I got a package from the hotel and I started opening it and then I realized what it was and I thought I should show you guys because it's this very cool pair of vintage Dior sunglasses that I found on eBay. I've been very into vintage things lately, vintage Dior, vintage Chanel, Gucci, Prada, but especially like vintage Dior and Chanel, I love so much. And these sunglasses I came across on eBay and they were so cool and the condition was amazing. So I ordered them and let's see what they look like. This seller wrapped them beautifully, like there is so much tissue and everything in this box <laughs> and it's just for these little sunglasses. But I actually really like it when sellers wrap things nicely on eBay. I've purchased a few vintage things on eBay and not all of them come like wrapped nicely in a box. Sometimes they're just thrown in there and you're like, thank God it didn't get damaged on its way over here. But this one was wrapped beautifully and it's these Dior sunglasses. I believe it's with John Galliano and they have these crystal trims around the side. I love this lens and this shape. I think it's so cool. Let's try them on and see what they look like. I love the shape of them and I think this is a pair that you wear kind of slightly lower on your face under your eyes at least that's how i would wear them obviously i look kind of disgusting so they don't look that great with my outfit but if you're wearing the right outfit these glasses can be such a cool statement piece and we have one more package to open all right so dave from balmon hair couture sent me so many cool new products to try and Last time he sent me a bunch of hair accessories and other things, so thank you so much. And let me show you what we got this time. So first we have this 5 week enriching hair treatment and this beautiful silk pillowcase in this ivory color. And this is the cutest thing ever, it's this little brush and it's in 14 karat gold. And there's a little matching mirror to go with it and a leave-in conditioner spray. In this box, we have a dry shampoo, a hair perfume, texturizing volume spray, and an overnight repair serum. Then here we have a repair mask, some moisturizing conditioner and shampoo, and these are some little mini versions for traveling and this cute little comb. I cannot wait to try all of these, especially this gold hairbrush because I actually style my hair a lot of times myself when I travel and these little boar brushes are really good for that and this is just so cute and chic. Right now I'm walking to this store called Crado and Crado is where I get all my clean skincare products. But I hope I can make it there before they close because 
Right now it's 4.31 and it says it's gonna take me 40 minutes to walk there. So I probably have to run or walk a little bit faster. And the reason why I am walking instead of taking an Uber is because since all the gyms here and everything is closed, I haven't really been able to get much exercise. So I figured I might as well walk. And it's also not too hot in LA today. Tomorrow it's supposed to be over 100, so I definitely don't want to be walking when it's over 100 outside. But I think it's probably like 80 or 90 today, so it's not too bad. And then after I go to Credo, then I'm gonna go to my alterations lady because she's not too far. Guys, we made it with one minute to spare. Now I'm really hoping they have the body lotion that I'm looking for because I don't see it anywhere. I probably should have called ahead of time to ask if they have it. That would have been the smarter thing to do. What you think to help me find a body lotion in Credo? In Credo. Oh, we don't have Credo anymore. Oh, you don't have store. it anymore? Yeah. Oh, okay. I know. Um, all right. Thank you. I don't know when they stopped carrying Credo because I used to live at the apartments that were right across the street from Fred Siegel called AKA and I would go to the Credo all the time to get my skincare since it's only a few steps away. So they must have stopped carrying it sometime between then and now. I just picked up all of my alterations, so at least that was a success. And it was so funny because right when I walked in, she was like, Jamie, are you okay? Do you need some water? And I was like, yeah, I'm fine. And I explained to her that it was because I walked all the way from Beverly Hills. And she's like, yeah, it looks like she just came off of a treadmill. But I got all my things, and now I'm just waiting for an Uber to head back to my hotel. Today is Saturday, and I'm going to end this vlog here because it's the end of the week, and I don't have much plan that's interesting to vlog today. I just have four meetings back to back. So I'm about to head out to one right now. But I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, and please go follow me on Instagram if you don't already, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!